Hey everybody, welcome. It is a five a day challenge. This is five short activities just to break the day up, keep your sociological knowledge ticking over. So this is number two. We are focusing on the couples topic from family. But firstly, we'll go through yesterday's answers. So make sure you've got them in front of you and have that pen and paper ready for the next five questions. So answer number one, do you know your stats? So it was 1% of poor students achieved the top GCSE grade. Now this is compared to 5% of non-disadvantaged and I have popped this link below so you can have a little bit of a read if you want to of that report. Here's your definition of cultural capital. I got this from Ken Brown's Sociology AQA Volume 1. This is the knowledge, education, language, attitudes and values and networks of social contacts and lifestyles possessed by the upper and middle class, which gives students that possess them an inbuilt advantage in the middle class controlled education system. Did you get that right? Well done if you did. I think this is everybody's favourite sociologist. It is Barry Sugarman and his four subcultural values of the working class. Fatalism, present time orientation, immediate gratification and collectivism. And these values, they disadvantage working class students when they get into the school system. I hope this one wasn't too tough for you, but it was budgie. Um So what I put together was, um, it was a board board game, board, and then I got a doe, a deer, a female deer. <laughs> that's what I went for. So it was doe, um, budgie. Um, that's what we're looking for on that one. And here's your exam question and I wanted you to focus on applying good exam technique. So you get a point for the material factor that you correctly identify. So here I've got housing, I've got diet and I've got um, poverty and not being able to afford resources basically. And then explain why it might cause working class underachievement. And what I've done there is I've offered an explanation why they um, this would act as a barrier for their achievement within the school system. And I've got three examples there so hopefully you have got six out of six on that one massive well done if you have successfully answered those five little challenges from yesterday and let's get your pen and paper ready to do the five questions from today's topic which will be the couple's topic from family so let's start off with your statistics. According to Anne Oakley's research, what percent of husbands have a high level of participation in the housework? Was it 5%, 15% or 25%? Can you give me a definition of the triple shift? Now these are all roles that you would find within the household, but without the vowels. Can you work out what they are? You might need to pause this here. Here's another picture one. Who am I? Again, you might need to pause it and just have a little bit of a study of it. So what the pictures are telling you. And your final question is an exam one. So we have got a 10 marker. Outline and explain two ways in which changing gender roles within family may have affect um, child children's experience of childhood. Now, I don't want you to be, you don't need to be answering a 10 marker for this quiz. It's only a short quiz. It's a bit of fun. What I want you to do instead is just um, identify the two parts of the specification that you need to show a link between and label them part A and part B. And then underneath, just bullet point, what A01 might you write about in that part A? And what A01 would you write about in that part B? And if you do want to have a look of a longer video, I do go through this question already. So I'll stick in the link. And finally, they are your five questions. Your answers will be in tomorrow's five a day challenge. Um, massive thank you for watching and taking part. Please share with your friends, students and other teachers. Click that big fat like button and subscribe. And I shall see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.